Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Fancy Watsy. Happy springtime, happy cherry blossom. Hi everyone, today we are here at Japanese Garden at Miyazaki Japanese Garden at Virginia Beach. Today is a very nice weather and spring is here so we decided to to visit the Japanese garden here at Virginia Beach. Now we're entering a Tory gate and as we walk forward, we can see the type of garden design that originated in Japan and has become popular around the world. It is a traditional style of gardening that has been refined over centuries and is known for its serene and mediative qualities. Japanese gardens typically feature a combination of natural and man-made elements such as rocks, water, plants, and architectural structures. The design principles of Japanese garden are based on creating a harmonious balance between this element as well as between the garden and its surrounding environment. Some common elements found in Japanese garden includes water, rocks, plants, and bridges. For plants, Japanese garden features a variety of plants including trees, shrubs, and flowers. These are often chosen for their shape, color, and texture and are arranged in a way that creates a natural looking landscape. Rocks are used in various ways such as to create a waterfall or to form a natural looking rock garden. They are chosen for their size, shape, and texture and are often arranged in groups to create a sense of balance. Bridges are often included in Japanese garden to allow visitors to cross over water or to reach specific area of the garden. They are usually made of wood or stone and are designed to blend with the natural surroundings. Japanese garden typically features a combination of natural and man-made elements such as rock, water plants, and architectural structure. The design principle of Japanese garden are based on creating a harmonious balance between this element as well as between the garden and its surrounding. It is fun to visit this time of the year because the blooming sakura or cherry blossom are all over the place and you can feel the, the good nature and inviting pleasant meditation. Coming here today is a very good experience because we got an exercise walking around the Sakura and please like and share as we go forward you can see more of the Japanese garden and the pathways of the Sakura that we are walking in and we have fun and me and my friends are really enjoying the scenery. Japanese garden are often created as places of quiet contemplation, meditation, or simply for relaxation. Me and my friends are enjoying the scenery and we have a good time. And at the same time, we enjoy walking through the path, watching the, the beautiful sakura or cherry blossom around the area. And there are many different types of Japanese garden, each with its own unique characteristic and purpose. For example, some garden may be designed for strolling like we do, while others may be created to be viewed from a single vantage point, such as tea house or pavilion. Some garden may also include elements of Buddhist or Shinto symbolism, such as stone, lantern, bridges, or water features. The design of a Japanese garden typically involves careful attention to the Detail with an emphasis on creating sense of harmony and balance between different elements. For example, rocks and boulders may be carefully placed to suggest natural formation, while water features may be designed to create the soothing sound of flowing water. I added some pictures back from Texas when we were there. We visited also Japanese garden, which is different and more bigger than this one that we are visiting. Um, Virginia Beach. Virginia Beach is fine and has a luxurious uh, ground that you can come here and do camping and picnic and invite a friends and, and bring your friends together and there have some pavilions around here too that you can do. Um, 
uh, celebrates uh, your parties in the pavilion, probably you will rent a, one or you ask permission for those pavilion. And it is fun and beautiful around here and you can enjoy your party. Overall, a Japanese garden is a beautiful and peaceful space that is designed to help visitors feel connected to nature and find inner peace and tranquility. Be careful! Are you really climbing? Ooh, let me check it out. <laughs> Look at my door friends and see uh, climbing the trees. It, she reminds me of me when I was a kid and now I am climbing a tree too. <laughs> but uh, it's hard for me at this age, but I try, I try my best and it's so fun. When I was a kid, I climbed a lot of trees, like the guava tree is my favorite one. You almost did it! <laughs> <laughs> and as usual, we take pictures, we do selfie selfie, and um, this garden or this traditional garden design that originates from Japan are typically characterized by minimalist, naturalistic style that emphasize tranquility, simplicity, and balanced Japanese garden open incorporates element and you can feel the connection between the natures and the breeze of the wind is awesome that you feel it in your face and it's so good at this kind of weather, spring, and it's so nice, it's beautiful. Another most important principle of Japanese garden design is the concept of borrowed scenery, which involves incorporating elements of the surrounding landscape into the garden to create a sense of harmony between the natural and built environments. And Japanese garden can be divided into several different types, including the shore garden, which is designed to be enjoyed while walking along the designated path, the tea garden, which is designed to be viewed from a tea house, and the dry landscape garden, which use rocks and sand to create a miniature landscape. Overall, Japanese gardens are designed to promote a sense of tranquility, balance, and harmony, and are open scenes as a reflection of Japan's unique cultural identity. On the 50th anniversary of the USA Dime Nippon Butoku Kai, this park was created by the city of Virginia Beach with lofty aims for people initiative of sister cities. It is the monument stands for prayer and hope for eternal peace and prosperity to the earth. This is was located at Virginia Beach in Virginia. You can look at the Google where to find it. Thank you for watching. Hope you can see me in my next vlog. Thank you and subscribe please.